Hey Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Star Online. Welcome. This is going to be a video about the Finder on a Macintosh and what it is and what it does. So if you have a Mac and uh, you'll find this application called a Finder which is really there to help you manage uh, your folders and your files so that you can find them more easily. And on the uh, desktop you'll find it in your dock on the left hand side and then up at the top you'll also see in the menu bar up here finder and you can also access your finder under the file new window so when you open it up you're going to come to a finder screen and it really consists of three areas uh, the, the top what I will call gray nav bar area where you have your three your red your yellow your green um, closing minimizing and uh, expanding buttons you have the back button. You also have view buttons here, uh, which give you four different options to uh, look at your at your um, at your files. Um, so as lists and etc. We'll go back over that in more in greater detail. You have an action button that gives you a bunch of functionality that you can use. We'll go over that later. Arrange, same thing. You can once you're in a folder or file, you can rearrange how it displays, and then you have the search box here which allows you to search for a folder or file um, more specifically. Then the second area you want to look at is the left hand sidebar. Now here you're going to find three areas favorites, shared, and devices. Favorites is where you're going to be placing all the files and folders that you commonly want access to and you work with. And um, you can do that uh, by any number of ways. You can drag uh, folders in if you want to do that. Now what it's really creating here is a shortcut to your folder but and then uh, if you want to lose it you can command and uh, put it here or you can put it in the trash so wherever you want to go. Uh, but I hit the command button to get it off the, uh, the sidebar. Shared is where you have your shared computers of networks. If you have a network up and there's there are machines that are connected to you, the machine you have, you'll, it'll show up here. If there are no shared net uh, computers you won't see this. Um, and devices will show you all the devices you have hooked up in your to your machine. Um, then the third area is your right pane, which is on the right hand side of this this part of the screen. This pane here displays all of the folders, depending on how you've selected to have them displayed. This is where you're getting you get all of your information that you're looking for in the particular. Uh, folder you're in. So I'm in all my files. If I go to Dropbox, Google Drive, you'll see that it displays what's ever in the folder or file or designated uh, picture, music, etc. And here is my user icon. So you get the idea. And uh, the finder allows you then with it, you know, at a glance to get to get a good I, I, uh, access to the information and, and then you can drill down to find it. Now another area that I would like to cover is preferences. Once you uh, enter into your finder, you might want to come in here and take a look at the preferences so you can make sure that it's you've got your finder configured the way you want to. So under the general tab, you can see that you can uh, set up on your desktop to show hard disks, external disks, CDs, CVDs, iPods, connected servers. You can select what you want to have appear on your finder. New Finder windows show all my files, so whenever you log into your or get into your Finder, it'll it'll default to all my files. You can open up windows and you know your folders in new windows, and then spring loaded folders and windows delay. Uh, I guess that has to do with the speed with which you can spring load folders and, and files. Spring loading simply means you drag your file over the folder icon. It'll open up the folder. You can drag and continue dragging down through folder to folder until you drill down to where you want to put your file. Uh, labels, you can come in here and relabel these color tabs, whatever you want. Sidebar, this determines what you by default will show in your sidebar. So you can, by clicking these items, you can see that you appear or disappear. It's up to you. You can customize this any way you want to have what you have. Whatever you, I just picked everything. I like to see everything in one shot. But you can, you know, you can decide what you want. And then under advanced, uh, you can decide whether you want to show all file name extensions, show warning before changing an extension, 
uh, show warning before emptying the trash and empty the trash securely. By default, it, it gives you a simple uh, empty trash. If you, you want to trash, empty the trash securely, you want to check this box. Uh, if you don't have this checked and you want to empty the trash securely, you can always uh, press the command key when you empty the trash and it'll do it. Uh, that's a shortcut to do it that way. So I, I tend to prefer to uh, empty trash securely. That means when it's gone, it's gone. And uh, that's it. So this is a brief uh, outline of, of how uh, the Finder uh, looks and how you can configure it. In the future, we're going to come back up here to the Finder tabs and take a look and see what these different functions are. Uh, this new smart folder is a great way to uh, create a virtual folder with specific information in it that makes it very easy to go and uh, mine your, your data on your computer and actually create uh, uh, customized folders with specific information that you may need. And I'll show, demonstrate that in the next video. And then these other uh, tabs have all a variety of, of, of functions that you'll uh, you're familiar with. The Go uh, tab has got some very interesting things to it as well, and we'll look at that. So that's it. That's kind of a, a, the window you can see here, the minimize and, and other functions here, and the help, of course, can come in handy when you're looking for information about Finder. So there you have it, the Finder app on your Mac. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Kalana at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk soon.